Andrea and if you didn't know I always create these little fake desserts to display on my countertops. I made this one around Easter time this year and I just want to revamp this into a Christmas cake. So as most of you know every single year I decorate my Christmas tree in a Candyland theme and I'm also going to be decorating the shelves in my living room in a Christmas sweet shop slash Mrs. Claus bakery and I thought it would be the perfect time to revamp this little cake and kind of make it a whimsical Christmas cake. If you want to see how I transform this cake into a Christmas cake, please keep watching. I have my lightweight spackling here. If you want to find an affordable option, I will link a Amazon link down below. And I have my styrofoam prop, which is larger than my other cake prop. And I'm just going to work on using the spackling to frost this styrofoam. Now in a previous video, I used um, white caulking and that is extremely, extremely thick and hard to work with. So since I have just stuck with regular white spackling for um, making all my fake desserts, it's definitely the better, easier option. is the freshly spackled bottom tier cake. I'm gonna let this dry now and then we will come back and decorate. These are little decorations. I bought these cute little gumdrops and these little gingerbread buttons from Hobby Lobby. They carry them every year. These are to decorate a small Christmas tree and these are buttons. And then I also bought these little peppermint ornaments from Hobby Lobby as well as these ornament balls. And this little gingerbread man I actually bought last year at Michael's. So I am going to use all of these supplies to revamp this case. Right. I am starting off by removing some of these decorations. Most are glued down, but not all of them. And I just pulled off a lot of the decorations. The glue just came off super easy. So I just added my layers together. I am not gonna glue them down. And I am just going to work now on gluing my little gingerbread. I'm just gonna add a dot of glue to the very bottom of his feet here, just so he stays in place where I want him. Okay, so there's my little gingerbread man. I am just going to add these little circular ornaments, of course hiding the silver piece, and start decorating my little cake here. So I'm just gonna add again a dot of glue. I also found this little purple lollipop and I'm going to add it kind of by the gingerbread's hand. And it is looking really cute so far. Next, I'm going to add these little sweet gingerbread buttons. I think these little guys are the cutest thing I've seen. Just gonna hot glue this little button. So cute guys. The next thing I'm gonna be adding are some little gum drops. And a dot of glue. Okay, we moved areas because the lighting was changing too much, but here is what we have so far for our little fake candy land cake.
I'm just gluing these fake little gumdrops along the border here. Okay, here is what we have so far. I changed my mind on the lollipops. The colors just didn't seem to go with the pastels I have on here. So as you can see, I have this little plastic piece stuck to my cake here, but that's okay. We are gonna fix it now. And by fix it, I mean glue something on top of it. So I have these little wafers I made. They were in the back of the cake. You can't see them anyway, so I'm just going to glue them on to the front of the cake to hide the areas where you could see the plastic markings from those lollipops. Okay, I'm also going to add another one of those wafers right here to cover where I had my lollipops. These little wafers are just made out of clay and I just bake them. Oh, I like that so much better. The colors go much better. I'm not quite sure how the peppermints look here. So I'm gonna add this little wafer piece instead. I highly recommend you sort out your ideas unlike I did before you start because then you'll end up pulling things off and having to readjust, but that's okay. Pull this piece off. The problem is some of the plastic lands up melting on here and then I have to cover up my mask. See a little purple piece. Here is my finished little Candyland fake cake. much for watching how I revamped this spring cake into a whimsical gingerbread candy land theme. I definitely will show you guys in a future video how I use this guy to decorate. And if you haven't checked out our other videos, every year we decorate a candy land theme Christmas tree. So if you wanna check those out, I'll definitely link them down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear in the comment section what you think of my revamped cake. And we We'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh.